Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to say something. Please watch video completely. Sit with copy pane. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. The question is, a particle of mass small m is attached to one end of massless spring of force constant k lying on a frictionless horizontal plane. The other end of the spring is fixed. The particle starts moving horizontally from the equilibrium position at time t equal to zero with an initial velocity u0 when the speed of the particle is 0.5 u0 it collides elastically with a rigid wall after this collision here the four options the speed of the particle when it returns to the its equilibrium position is u0 option b the time at which the particle passes through the equilibrium position for the first time is t equal to pi into root m by k. Option c, the time at which the maximum compression of the spring occurs is t equal to 4 pi by 3 root m by k. And option d, the time at which the particles passes through the equilibrium position for the second time is t equal to 5 pi by 3 root m by k. In this question, we have given a block which is connected to the spring and uh, here is the smooth, lay, smooth and frictionless base and here is the rigid stain or wall. When we give some motion to this block, it will be strike and come back it means to be oscillatory motion. And what is the equation of oscillatory motion in the form of displacement? x equal to a sin omega t. Here x is a displacement here is the amplitude and omega is angular velocity is it clear now differentiate with respect of t then we'll get the equation of oscillatory motion in the form of velocity then dx by dt equal to a omega cos omega t dx by dt is velocity and velocity is given that 0.5 u naught 0.5 u naught. Here maximum displacement is also u naught and uh, cos omega t because u 0 0.5 0 0.5 then u naught. So u naught u naught cancel out then cos omega t equal to 0 0.5. 0 0.5 can be written as 1 by 2 cos omega t. You are well known about that what is the value of 1 by 2 in cos form it is value of 60 degree of cos 60 degree so it can be written as cos pi by 3 cos omega t then omega t equal to pi by 3 what is the value of omega omega can be written as 2 pi by t so here 2 pi by t into t equal to pi by 3 so now t equal to here t equal to pi pi cancel out then t equal to uh, small t equal to t by 6. As we know that the time period for oscillatory motion is t equal to 2 pi root m by k. This is the equation for oscillatory motion when the spring using for the spring oscillatory motion. Here we have get already small t equal to capital T by 6. So, therefore, 2 pi root m by k divided by 6 means pi by 3 root m by k. This is the time period of when it is striking pi by 3 root m by k. Now, now we have again see the question 
uh, the speed of the particles when it returns to its equilibrium position is u naught. Yes, it is correct because 0 0.5 and again come back then 0 0.5 become u naught. The first option is correct. The time at which the particle passes through the equilibrium position for the first time is t equal to pi by pi into root m by k. You can see that here the time period t equal to pi by 3 m by k when you strike and then come back means 2t then uh, it become to pi by uh, 2 pi by 3 root m by k. So therefore this option is also wrong. And third option is given the time at which the maximum compression. Here we have find out the maximum compression. Let us consider this is the mean position. It is the t by 6. Then come back t by 6. Then again goes to the compression for t by 6. Means 3 t by 6 means 3 1 the 3. 3 to the 6 means t by 2. Here we have already find out. 1 by 2, what is the value of t? 2 pi root m by k, then cancel out, this is pi root m by k. So therefore, this condition is also not possible. And lastly, we have given the time at which the particle passes through the equilibrium position for the second time is t equal to 5 pi by 3 root m by k. Okay, so here, what says the question? When it is strike, come back, goes to the compression, again come back and goes to the this again wall. So how many times the time period comes here? T by 6. First time, come back. T by 6 goes to, to the left side. T by 6 again come to the mean position. T by 6 and then strike. T by 6. How much times? Then 5T by 6. Then 5 by 6, then again 2 pi root m by k, then 2 1 the 2, 2 3 the 6, 5, 5 by 3 root m by k. Yes, this option is correct. So, therefore, we have here is given question, multiple choice question, first and last, first and last option is correct. I hope so. You understand this question. Thank you for dear students staying till the ends of this video. And I know that very well, you are working very hard. And if I will be a part of your success journey, that it will be my pleasure. But when more and more students will join with your success journey, then it will be very great things. Thank you once again. Take care.